Well, good morning and welcome back. Along the coastline this morning, still on my little slow bimble around in the van. Beautiful, beautiful calm morning this morning. Um, it was a reasonably nice sunrise. Just watched it with a cup of, cup of coffee. So I brought myself down to a little bit of coastline that has got some wonderful rocks and rock formations and textures and patterns. Now I'm going to caveat this with a, a disclaimer. If you're not into abstracty sort of pictures of boulders and stuff like that, then we'll see you next week. This, this channel, and interestingly I was watching one of Tom Heaton's videos uh, from a couple of weeks ago where he, he spoke about the fact that the images on his channel were not his portfolio and absolutely, you know, in fact I would say that most photographers out there who are running channels such as ours, it's not about portfolio images, heck, it would be amazing if it, if it was, um, but it's about the journey. And I love bringing myself to little places like this where I'm not even sure whether I'm going to be able to see an image here. Um, but the only way I'm going to kind of get to sort of get my eye really attuned to locations such as this is to bring myself here. And I wasn't going to record this morning. I was going to just have a moment of myself. But I also think it's it's important to sort of just show these and I'm sure it's going to be a, a little bit of a frustrating morning. Now, conditions wise, pretty much ideal. Um, the sun has now disappeared behind the cloud. It looks like we've got uh, a little bit of time before it comes back out again. So perfect for these sort of softer sorts of images. And I'm starting off with one just behind me here. Um, the rocks kind of leading up to the the lovely bits of grass and then through the rocks, through the grass, sorry, more of more, more rocks. Um, it was interesting, I had a, a picture of my mind when I was setting up the camera, but then when I put the camera on the tripod, I kind of saw a different image. Um, I guess I need to train my eye a little bit better, but anyway, as I say, if you're not into abstract pictures of random rocks, then nothing to see here. If you are, might still be nothing to see here, but hey, right, let's see whether we can set something up. So there are a couple of things about this image um, that I'm at least aware of. I'm not saying I'm solving, but I'm at least aware of. Firstly, the very slight change in color temperature. Now you can probably see now we are a little bit warmer. When I first was setting up the image there was quite a cool feeling to the frame and I think that you just needed that slightly slightly warmer tone in the um, in the image. Secondly there's a I've kind of composed two different frames if I sort of crop in, all you really get is the stones and the grass. If I bring myself out just a touch, then up in the background, uh, we get a little hint of autumn. I'm not sure that works as well. I think um, excluding that. But again, one of the things that I've really taught myself, you know, a lesson, is digital no cost to shoot an extra frame. So I'd rather capture it and make that decision make that decision in um, post and then obviously the breeze has got up just a touch just a touch and so I'm also mindful of those reeds that swing now perhaps perhaps I want a little bit of movement in those reeds I think for that I would probably have to put polarizer on or a, an ND filter and I might give that a go 
because I'm not sure whether I want those reeds, whether having those reeds with a slight movement will actually give me something closer to what I'm trying to trying to go for. So, and again, it's just being aware. As I say, it's not it's not a case of solving all of these riddles in the field. You know, if we could always do that, then we'd come out with wonderful images every time. But at least being clued in to what questions need to be asked. And I think you really can only start to answer some of those questions or at least know the question when you slow down. Rather beautiful here. another scene here and again what drew my eye to it was just those lovely curved patterns in the in in the rock but and I took a picture with the phone and I thought yep that that probably could work but then the more I kind of looked at it through the viewfinder in the camera the main camera hmm, just not sure um, Firstly, everything is kind of composed to sort of draw your eye up to the tree. It's not a very interesting tree. Now, it might be later in the year with a bit of autumnal colour and a bit more softer light on it. Of course, if the, the sun has gone away, it got a little bit bright there and I thought I was going to have to pack up and head home or head home, but head back to the van, which is home, I guess. But it's kind of clouded over quite a bit now and we've lost a lot of that sort of light and so that that tree isn't really sort of standing out even though everything in the image is saying you to sort of look towards it. Um, there's a pool of water sort of bottom left hand side of the frame. Now I could polarize it a little bit and maybe see whether we can see through some of that but I think it's to me it's almost blocking a little bit or pulling your eye down towards it. I'm not sure just don't think that's that's going to work which is interesting because when I, I took it on the phone it was like oh that, that looks rather nice uh, I mean I'll, I'll put the image up anyway I'll, I'll go ahead and take it but I don't think it's going to work I might instead focus a little bit on the smaller section of it but we'll see yeah it's clouded over quite a bit now so it's kind of We've lost even a little bit of that softer light, which is unfortunate. Might be time for coffee. So I've actually decided to stay with this scene. With that cloud rolling in, you can probably see behind me here. The cloud has really kind of rolled in behind that tree. Now, what we're hoping for is a little bit of a break. Just one little tiny break in the clouds because that may illuminate the tree and you'll still have some nice dark clouds behind it. Now, 80-20, <laughs> whether that's gonna happen or not. All of a sudden, the scene kinda came, to, came together. I've still got the issue of that um, the little blocker I feel on the left-hand side, and there's not a lot I can do with that in terms of getting rid of it, because if I get rid of it, I have to come much further right, and that then sort of ruins the composition a little bit. Just been playing about a little bit with some of the shapes in the image, trying to sort of get things to fit. Let me just take a wander across. Whoa, whoop, whoop, try not to fall over. Yeah, there's a couple of little intricate sort of bits and pieces in there that I've been working on. Little sort of triangles in the um, top of the frame and maybe sort of on the bottom left hand side as well. Kind of trying to make some of those stones almost fit into each other very difficult to stand here. So I think it would be very nice if we did get just a little, just a little break of light on that tree. So I'll, I'll hold fire here for a little bit and see whether we're rewarded, but it's not looking too likely. But perhaps, perhaps one to come back to.
Well, hello. And here we are recording a bit of an outro several weeks later. Not quite sure what happened. Well, that's a lie. I kind of remember setting up the camera in the van ready to record this piece. And then I got waylaid. Someone came knocking at the door and he wanted to talk about vans. I think there was tea and cake involved as well. So I just completely forgot about it. Anyway, I just thought I would round things off with a little quick outro. Holy baloney. You okay? Everything's good. Anyway, so yeah, I just thought I'd record this little bit of an outro piece to camera. I know this isn't possible for everyone, for a lot of people, but the slowing down over those three days that I spent down at the Mourns was absolutely fantastic. Now, did I come away with any, you know, portfolio grade images? Maybe, maybe that one of the misty woods up the mountain, maybe. I came away with so much more. You know, we, we can go out with a camera and we can put so much pressure on ourselves to make a, a final great image. And, and that, of course, can be exasperated by trying to also make, make a vlog and make a vlog interesting. But my goodness me, over these last six months or so, and maybe it's because we've been locked in and we're back across the whole of the UK and Ireland, locked in again. But just wandering, dandering, bimbling, hoofing, walking, whatever you want to call it, with a camera and just standing and watching and noticing more, making little sketches. It, it was absolutely fantastic. I had so much fun. A real deeper connection with the environment that I was trying to photograph in. And, and it's something that I've really tried to do in my work, in my own sort of photographic journey, without getting too hippie about it. That it's not just about going out and making that final image. It's about nudging, scratching, getting started that creativity. And I felt it no more so than at the end of those three days. Even though I came out with, you know, it was three days of wandering around pretty much for you know, six, seven hours a, a day. And I came out with probably one image that might stand the test of time and the rest are really just little inklings about what may be possible in the future, but that's okay. And and the older I get and the deeper I go into this photographic journey, as I said, I think in a previous vlog, the, the whole just art of, the whole just act of being creative, and that can just be walking for six, seven hours a day and, you know, just sketching down little sort of snippets off, off the landscape. So, so much more, at least for me, than running out to an epic sunset or an epic sunrise and getting an image that might just, you know, make a bit of a splash in, uh, on social media for all of two minutes. So the slowing down piece, I would highly encourage. And again, it's not possible for everyone because I know time is limited but maybe now as we do go into this you know extra um, or secondary sort of lockdown maybe some of us will have a little bit more time um, time to explore local and of course exploring local means that we're going to maybe walk to those places and when we're walking to places maybe we'll notice more so really enjoyed I hope you've maybe got something out of those last three slowing down I certainly, looking back at the videos, looking back at the images and remembering my time, certainly got a heck of a lot out of it. Upcoming on Tuesday, probably going to be some more rambling words from yours truly. Probably a uh, image review and then another five minute Friday next Friday. Right, well once again, thanks a lot for watching everyone and until next time, take care. Slow down. Bye-bye.